What's good, y'all? Welcome back to another video. Hope you are having a great day today. So I'm sure that most of you watching this know who Southside is. And if you are familiar with his work, then I'm sure that you guys know the sound that he's built up over his years of producing. So pretty much in this video, I'm gonna be making a dark orchestral and turn beat from scratch. I'm gonna be going over how to make the melodies all the way to the drums for it. And I'm gonna be all making that as if Southside was making it pretty much and like keeping that 808 mafia tone and vibe as well. So anyways, y'all, without further ado, let's get into it. All right, y'all, so we are in FL Studio here. First step you already know is gonna be our tempo setting. For this, I'm gonna raise it up a little bit higher i'm going to go to around the 160 range or 162 and as you can see we don't have any melodies yet so we're gonna to have to cook up our own melody and what we kind of want to go for is like a just a unique dark orchestral sample vibe i don't know how else to kind of explain it but i'm going to be going through each step in the process to getting there so the first thing that i like to do for these is i'll just go to a plugin like a synthetic plugin like if you have like omnisphere or xenology or electro x analog lab then those are going to be perfect for this so i'm going to go to omnisphere here and then i'm going to go to the file directory all and then I'm gonna look for a pad all right third sound done this is actually a pretty good one it's something that's like ambient and has like a low attack and what I'm gonna do is I'm pretty much just gonna get the same chord progression repeating or I'm just gonna like get a basic chord progression and pretty much just repeat it over and over again until eight bars So that's just like a really basic chord progression right there. I'm gonna try and find a different sound in here though. So I'm just gonna repeat that into an eight bar loop. And now next what I'm gonna do with this is I'm just gonna experiment with what it sounds like when I stretch and reverse it and maybe pitch it up or down. So to do that, I'm gonna go to patterns here. First, if you've never done this before, then go to patterns then go to render as audio clip, make sure it's in a wave and then put the resampling on the highest quality and then make sure you also cut remainder and just start. Then you can go here and you'll have this right here. It's the same thing, just rendered out. Now what I'm gonna do, so I'm gonna reverse it, go here, stretch it to four bars. I'm gonna put it on stretch and then we're gonna pitch it up let's just try 400 cents so that's hard right there except i want it with a different sound and i'm going to switch up the chords a little bit so i have the same chords i just switched the pattern of them gonna copy and paste it and then we're going to try and find a different sound in here Okay, so I'm pretty sure we have our sound. Again, I'm just gonna experiment, see what it sounds like. So patterns, quick render as audio clip. We have this, reverse it. Oh, you know what that sound good with? Okay, hold up, I have an idea. I'm gonna clone Omnisphere, and then I'm gonna get a choir. So we're gonna go to the human voices. We'll go to classical choirs, and then... All right, now let's try and get that. Perfect. So I'm gonna just clone this into eight bars and then I'm just gonna mute these for now. I'm gonna route both of these to channel one and I'm gonna add like some filters to it and some EQ to it. Try and add some of our own portal to this though. We'll keep that portal in there as like a switch up with the melodies like during the, the final beat. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the root notes down for the melody. So I'm just gonna clone Omnisphere and I'm gonna go to the keyboards, go to the rock piano. I also need to move these down six semitones or however much I, which is that? Yeah, six semitones. All right, that's our root note. Mm.
There we go. Alright, perfect. So now that we have our root notes, we like pretty much have the main components of the melody down. All we need to add now is like a couple secondary melodies and like some embellishments if we want. But we have the main melody down, which is the best part. I wanna find like a um find a guitar. Like something ethnic though. I'm going to clone Honesty and I'm going to get a belt to layer that with. Okay, so I got this bell pad here and I'm just gonna route it to channel three and then I'm gonna add some HYTP2 to it. Alright, so we have our two secondary melodies down, and pretty much what I'm just gonna do now is I'm gonna add some like orchestral sounds to it, like some orchestral embellishments, pretty much not really secondary melodies, but just embellishments because the melodies are just full how they are. So I'm gonna open up contact and then I'm gonna go to Ethno World 6. We're gonna go to the Dilruba licks. Lastly, I'm going to clone contact one more time, and then I'm going to go to a flute. Let's go to the woodwind and brass. I'm going to go to one of the Irish whistles. All right, well that wraps up the melody, so now we can start to move on to the drums. I'm just gonna layer, or I'm not gonna layer these, but I'm just gonna level these out a little bit so they sound a little bit better. All right, so next onto the drums, you're definitely gonna need like an 808 Mafia, modern 808 Mafia and Southside drum kit. You could just get one off of YouTube and Reddit, there's a ton of them. First thing I'm gonna start off with is gonna be the 808, so I'm just gonna go to my huge kit of spins 808s in here, and I'm gonna try and find one that sounds good for this beat. All right, so what I'm gonna do next is I'm just gonna copy and paste the root notes from our piano into our 808 here. And of course, I'm gonna take out all of these ones. We're gonna raise it up. Perfect. So I'm just going to add the hi-hat and then the clap. I'm going to layer the clap with the snare.
All right, next we're gonna get the hi hat rolls. So because this beat is pretty complex how it is already, I don't want to add too many hi hat rolls like classic Southside does, but I do want to add some just to add a little bit of variation with the drums. So one quick way to just do hi hat rolls is to just extend them to how long you want them, and then just do Alt U. So that's good right there. Then you have your hi hat roll instead of like compared to experimenting with these and then trying to do the rolls with that. The same thing over here, Alt U. And I'm just gonna do a four bar hi hat loop and then just repeat it. here actually now we're gonna go to the control here and then we're gonna go to note fine pitch just an experiment with some of these this pretty much just change the pitch of the notes without actually changing the note itself so if i like put these up like this then those are just gonna go up in pitch Lastly, I'm going to go to the note velocity. And that wraps it up for this video and this beat. We have everything done, so all I need to do now is just mix this and then lay it out, and then y'all can listen to the final beat. But that is going to wrap it up for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching all the way to the end. Let me know down in the comments what other videos or video ideas you guys want to see. But thank you guys again for watching all the way to the end. I'll catch y'all in the next video. But until then, I'm out.
Bags, Lucid.